Dong Energy has been a pioneer in the offshore wind farm industry for more than 20 years. We are the market leader in offshore wind and we are involved in more than half of the current operating offshore wind farms worldwide. To date, we have committed to investing £4 billion in renewable energy in the UK. The UK government aims to generate 15% of the UK's energy from renewable sources by 2020. Offshore wind energy is an integral part of the UK government's long-term aim of achieving an 80% reduction in CO2 emissions by 2050. These targets are driven by a need to secure energy supply and address climate change. Dong Energy's long-term vision is to lead the energy transformation towards a lower carbon energy mix. At the same time, we aim to reduce the cost of energy. The proposed Burbo Bank Extension Offshore Wind Farm is located west of the existing Burbo Bank Offshore Wind Farm in Liverpool Bay. The proposed wind farm could cover an area of 40 square kilometres with a capacity of up to 259 megawatts. This would be enough to power 170,000 UK homes. The turbines are likely to be 8 megawatts. They could have a tip height of up to 223 metres, which would make each turbine taller than the Gherkin. The offshore turbines of Burbo Bank Extension would be in English waters, while the onshore infrastructure would be located in Wales. So the offshore export cable would cross the two jurisdictions of England and Wales. An underground cable would connect the offshore wind farm array to the National Grid substation at Bodelwoythen in St Asaf, Denbyshire. We have had good dialogue with a number of landowners and residents along the proposed route. Hi, I'm Lee Rollison. I'm the Head of Operations for Burbo Bank Offshore Wind Farm. We have 25 wind turbines currently. They're 3.6 megawatt from Siemens. They currently at full production can power 80,000 homes and they've been up for the last seven years. The range of staff that we have in the office are anything from a engineer for maintaining and operations on the wind turbine. We also have a warehouse coordinator a site assistant, an offshore coordinator, and a health and safety manager, and a assistant operations manager also. All of my staff are local uh, to, the, to the northwest area, most being from the Liverpool area, and some being from over the Wirral. Yeah, we currently use local supplies at the moment for spares, consumables, mainly consumables, um, but for example, swapping out batteries that are constantly needed on the turbines, we use local supplies for that. An offshore wind farm the size of Burbo Bank Extension requires a sizeable investment and represents a significant opportunity to the economies of Liverpool, North Wales and the UK as a whole. Construction is expected to take around two years and should create around 135 full-time local jobs and a further 55 full-time jobs in the local supply chain. Most of these direct jobs would take place at the construction ports used for storing, loading and shipping out the turbines and foundations, which could include a combination of Mostyn, Barrow and Liverpool. Around £15 million would potentially be generated locally as a result of this activity. Opportunities for the local supply chain could, for example, include local machinery hire, vessel hire, civil and electrical engineering subcontractors, and hospitality for workers from outside the area. This supply chain spend would potentially create an additional contribution of four million pounds in the regional economy during the construction phase. For the operations and maintenance of the wind farm, it is predicted that 75 full-time positions would be created. The majority of the local jobs would centre on an operations and maintenance port base established for this wind farm, which could be in Belfast, Mostyn or Liverpool. Each year, around £2 million would potentially be directly generated in the region as a result of this activity. At Dong Energy, people matter, 
and safety needs to be a truly integrated part of everyday work. The operations and maintenance team at Burbo Bank has received Dong Energy's Health and Safety Award for their continuous hard work to create a safe site. I'm John Vernon. I've been working with Dong Energy for three and a half years now. An example of a type of thing I would do would be planning for the future. Uh, we shortly have a big job retrofitting part of our turbines. So I'm currently looking at the plans for how we're going to do that. At Burbo we have a really good safety record and it's a consistent hard work from everyone to look at what we do and how we do it and try and make it as safe as we can. We try to encourage our guys when they see problems to own them. It, it, it's their responsibility to, to not turn the other way, to say I'm going to sort that out, I'm going to deal with that you also need to report it so we can look at long-term solutions to these things. It's a, it's a really challenging job and it's a really good company to work for, Dong Energy. And there's always something new. At Dong Energy, we recognise the strength in supporting local communities and believe that this can be achieved in a number of ways. We offer apprenticeships and work with educational institutions, including Manai College in Wales, to support the upskilling of the next generation of engineers. 15 employees from the local area currently work in the operational Burbo Bank site in Liverpool. My role at Dong Energy is an offshore wind turbine technician. I've been in the role for around 18 months. I found out about the job. I had friends who were already in the business and they informed me that the opportunity was available. Dong Energy provides a lot of training and today we're doing forklift truck training so we can remove spares from the racking systems in the warehouse. We take a trip out to the wind turbines. We'll pack it all onto the boat, take the boat out to the turbine and either carry out plant maintenance or repair. Work. Yeah, I really like the different day-to-day -day jobs, it's always different and there's plenty of trading opportunities available. Dong Energy intend to offer communities located near the proposed wind farm a community benefit fund. The community benefit fund will only be implemented if Dong Energy decides to build the wind farm, which could be in the latter part of 2014. It is intended that the proposed funding will be available to local people and organisations that meet the qualifying criteria for funding. We are particularly interested in finding out from local stakeholders what type of projects they believe should qualify for funding and how projects can be objectively assessed. We intend to speak to representatives from local communities to help guide the programme's establishment, as well as identifying qualification criteria that are in line with Dong Energy's approach to corporate social responsibility.